बैठक गुड इवनिंग ब्यूटीफुल पीपल टू बींग एयर मेकिंग योर इवनिंग मोर ब्यूटीफुल a warm welcome welcome to 67th meeting of leaders are readers book club the leaders are readers book club is an initiative of south delhi post master club with the vision and goal to inculcate the reading habit among guests and uh, guests and members the leaders of the south delhi post master club firmly believe that leaders are readers and someone rightly said that a person who is a reader live uh, live the life of many people we meet every tuesday between 8 to 9 pm and invite wonderful and amazing leaders as a keynote speaker to inspire and motivate us to cultivate the reading habit i am post master amit your anchor and host for today's meeting i have been member of the south delhi post master club since march 2020 and also of uh, and by profession aim of finance consulting i uh, let me brief brief you today session so today session divided into four section first is book review session then keynote speaker session audience participation session and conclusion and next keynote speaker session introduction tracking is a wonderful habit and it helps us to do the right thing at the right time so today toastmaster gyan will help me to track the time during this session toastmaster gyan recently joined south delhi toastmaster club and he is also member of one another club he loves to love to go gym every day and when he he does not go to the gym he found himself incomplete he was inspired by the thought of one buffet that communication skills are the 50% of what a person is Toastmaster Gyan is still student of BCA second year and working with two startups. So, thank you, Toastmaster Gyan, for helping me to track the time. So now I I would like to call Toastmaster Hari Tosh for the book review session. But before calling him on the uh, virtual platform, I would like to tell you something about Toastmaster Hari Tosh. Haritosh Srivastav is a distinguished postmaster uh, for the last 5 years and has been a part of district 41 india district 40 district 11 indiana district 91 uk and online postmaster club he served in the various capacities including vp pr vp education and president he was the one of pathway guide guide uh, of district 11 currently he is a Uh, being so the speaker president he is also elected as a area director in district 91 and for and for the program 21 22 by profession he is it project manager with 14 year experience in the it field and is associated with our largest india it service provider tcs he loves to mentor and coach young students and professionals he is also a youtuber and through his channel keeps bringing new captivating and inspiring content including inspirational in, inspirational interviews book reviews and blogs he also runs a podcast with the title small town bigger dreams today he is going to give us a summary a summary or review of his recently published book small town bigger dreams in the amazon kindle was also among the top 12 best seller for few days in the amazon uh, amazon free ebook category so please help me to welcome coach master haritosh on the uh, platform please give me a big round of uh, applause over to you coach master haritosh it was the winter of 1994 in a small town of north india called jaunpur which i am sure many of you would have not even heard of two kids 
were on the roof of the house in the afternoon having fun. And it was that time of the year you would like to soak as much sun as possible. Suddenly, the big brother asked the younger sister, do you see those white markings on the sky? Yes. You know, these are the smoke that comes out of the airplane when it flies. Must be amazing to sit on one of those. You know what, sister? One day I'll be traveling on one of those. There was a silence for a moment and then they both laughed because they know that was not a possibility. 25 years later, I, the big brother, I've been basing Stoke United Kingdom on my third international deputation. I've covered more than 50,000 air miles. The big dreams of a small town guy has actually materialized. But how did it all happen? Was it so easy for a Hindi medium guy to work as an IT portfolio manager in India's biggest IT company? Now this book, Small Town Bigger Dreams is the collection of the 21 principle that I discovered, that I some of them I invented and some of them I learned from others. The whole book is divided into 21 chapters and all of them have three things. I call them TSL. T stands for theories, the principle. S stands for stories. Most of them my personal stories. Some of them I've taken uh, from others. And then most importantly, learnings. So there are TSL and the, in the, at the end of every chapter, you have something called action item, which are one or two things that you can incorporate in your daily life to improve your life, improve your aspiration and achieve more things in life. Now today in this book review, I'm gonna share one of the chapter details, which is called remember and cherish your roots. Now, Matso Divao, I believe I'm saying it correctly said, it is in the roots, not the branches, that a tree's greatest strength lies. I personally believe that whatever I have, whatever I have learned, I've achieved, my root, my hometown, my tradition, my background has played a lot of it. And I deep, I'm deeply connected to my roots, and that's what I advise. There's a story that I mentioned in the book, which is about this guy. It was in 2016, I was staying with my cousin. And this guy came to me, he, he was he's done engineering for a few years, was struggling for a job. And he came over just to get some advice. And I looked at his resume. You now, everything was fine until I see, he mentioned that he's from Kajabad. Now I know this guy is from Johnpur because he's my father's friend's son. And that actually put me off. After that day, he never came back to me. It's really, really important that we remember our roots and if possible, go back and contribute. So this is one chapter that I do. And there are 20 other chapters. Uh, the book has been out on Amazon for uh, since 15th of June has been doing good. And uh, uh, I'm so thankful for the Readers Are Reader Club to giving me these opportunities. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you go through it, you'll get some more learnings. Uh, I'm really looking for feedback and for that. Thank you so much. And over to Amit. Thank you, Toshma Sahibos, for sharing the uh, quick review and also increasing our curiosity to go ahead and read and know the 21 principle that uh, bring you from John Port to now London and uh, around six continents around the world. So, so thank you so much. Um, now, people just control your heartbeat. Now we are we have today's keynote speaker, Toastmaster Kamaljit Kaur. Kamaljit Kaur, she is a member of Diamond City Toastmaster Club Surat. A CELTA certified Cambridge English speaking examiner and British Council certified IELTS trainer with a couple of degrees who loves exploring every area of English language from literature to language. This curiosity has landed me in the world of attack, wherein, wherein you see uh, training the ILACs aspiring on the Unacademy universe and has blessed her with a loving husband and 
we uh, she has a, a 15 year uh, 15 year old young boy i ha uh, she has an uh, ardent homemaker by heart and passionate travel enthusiastic living life and the life to the fullest i she like she loves meeting the like minded people and believe that every person she made made teaches uh, her something valuable so we are i am very excited to listen to her so today she is coming with a very enthusiastic uh, uh, very enthusiastic team so let let me help let please help me to welcome her on the virtual stage over to you toastmaster kamal jit uh, kamal jit kaur thank you thank you very much amit for such a warm uh, welcome and it's my pleasure to be a keynote speaker today so who is an indomitable spirit so let me start with that so as you can see here who is an indomitable spirit someone who is strong will has iron will power is invincible and cannot be defeated even in the toughest times and could face difficulties and can challenge every situation we all have gone through this toughest times during uh, the covid situation this covid period but with perseverance grace mixed with strength and bravery we all have actually overcome this challenge so before we start uh, talking about indomitable spirits and these warrior women let me just uh i cannot move the screen i'll share again i'm so sorry i'll share again i just want to share this quiz uh, we are going to play a quiz and i cannot uh, move it Can can you mail can you mail me the slide? I I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I have the slides. Uh, I can open it. Uh, but I have changed it. Uh, I have added some more to it. Uh, let me just try once again. Let me just try once again. So we have a quiz to play here. I just hope you all can. Ah, uh, yeah. So these are the women warriors of our country. You can see a number of women warriors here. on this slide and these are today's women warriors who have actually uh, defeated the time bound things and have come up and challenged today's world so let's start with a quiz and understand that who are these women warriors women of india can you guess these names you have only 10 seconds to do that and you need to tell me the achievements yes quickly pushi rani lakshmi bai Actually, wonderful so rani why why she was known uh, by the people what she has done 1857 revolt uh, wonderful It's... who is she narkali <laughs> she is begum hazrat mehal and she was the wife of nawab wajid ali and uh, she uh, participated in the india's uh, struggle movement independence movement who is she Sarojini Naidu. Wonderful. So she is Sarojini Naidu, and she was the first president of Indian National Congress. Who is she? Um, uh, wife of what is name? I think she she made schools in India. I Wonderful, Param Jo. Yes. She is Savitri Bai Phule, the Savitri first Bhai teacher Bhai. of right. India. She was also a poetess, Marathi poetess. Right. And wonderful. Who is she? Uh, Amrit Amrita Pitam. Amrita Pitam. She is also a poetess and a writer, Punjabi writer. Audience, who is she? These are the women warriors of indomitable spirit, of spirit of our country. She is Punita Arora, the first Lieutenant General of our Indian Army. I hope many of you know that recently we watched a movie on, uh, on her, and it was the role was played by Kuntla Devi. Kuntla Devi. Kuntla Devi, mathematician. Her name was there in Guinness uh, Books of World Records. She was a genius. Kiran Bedi. Kiran Bedi. And her achievement. She was the first. First IPS officer. Wonderful. 
Bachendri Pal. Amazing. She is Bachendri Pal. And what is her achievement? She is the first woman on Everest. Mount Everest. Everest. A few more. Maheshwari. Maheshwari. She oh, recently wow. became the uh, chief of University of Sports. of Pernam Malleshwari. Wonderful. Um, wonderful. Malleshwari. And she is the first woman to win Olympic, Olympic. medal for the she, country. Yeah. Mericom. 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 Amazing. And Mericom. And her achievement was she is the first woman to receive Rajiv Gandhi uh, Ratna. You all must know her. Readers. Um, and what about the gentleman standing just beside her? Because these are also warriors. Salman Rushdie. Salman Rushdie. And she is Anita Desai. She is. Uh, she was listed in the top twenty most influential women by the Economic Times in two thousand five. So these are the women who have uh, who have defied the laws, who have defied and come out to be women of strength. Now let me just talk about what is common in all these women. We say that we have uh, empowered them, but I would say that women are already empowered. What is the meaning of empowerment, women empowerment? Is the authority and responsibility of individuals who are given, who are given this authority to make choices and then to transfer their lives, transform their lives into what they want to do, into desired actions and outcomes that's why they are where they are today that's why they could have they have achieved so much now empowerment here means to have self worth to understand what we are to determine our choices and to have the excess of opportunities which most of the women lack now here when you have opportunities and resources you know how to have control you are given power to control your lives within and also outside and you can control people's life and give a lot to the society then you are indomitable spirits you are empowered in the true sense now these women who are empowered they have the influence to direct all the cha social changes they are there in the society and even take part in the in economic order of the society that's why we call them indomitable spirits now i would compare these indomitable spirits with an eagle what does an eagle do? Why we say that be like an eagle? An eagle dreams, plans, and acts big. That's why they are, they are compared to indomitable spirits. First thing, eagles, they either fly alone or they fly with the people of their own kind, group of their own kind. They, they go with like-minded people. Eagles, they have excellent vision and concentration. They know what they want in their lives and they work hard to achieve that. They put their 100% to achieve that. Eagles, they love storms. They love clouds full of water. They love clouds and they love to have challenges in their life. They take up the opportunities, fight with them. And also... This is, the one, this is one of the most important features of an indomitable spirit compared to an eagle is that they test the level of com uh, commitment before engagement. So anyone who is an indomitable spirit will have all these qualities, going with people of their own kind, having an excellent vision and concentration to achieve and accepting challenges, defy the, uh, the laws of time and do have commitment before engagement in anything. Now we know that if we are such spirits, we know that sometimes there is high potential of achievement and sometimes there is high potential of failure. So we might get failures. Now, let me talk about the book that I was talking that day and we'll understand how Jindan Kaur from the last queen, the book Last Queen has made me an indomitable spirit and let me understand the meaning of indomitable spirit. Now, the first thing is that this uh, story is of the last queen of uh, the king of Punjab who was called, who was called as Lion of Punjab, Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Why there is a lot of talk about her? There have been so many women warriors in the past, but then why people are talking a lot about her? The reason is because of 
few certain things, certain characteristics that she has. So before I start, I would like just like to tell a bit about Jindan Kaur, the last queen. And the book is written by Chitra Banerjee Deva Deva Karuni, and she is a famous writer. And this book has got four stars out of five, a good, very good reviews. When she first time, Chitra Banerjee, when she first time said that she is going to write a book on a women warrior, people thought it must be. There are so many women warriors in India that we have heard about, but no one had heard about uh, the last queen. much so she talked about her why the reason was very clear that she was the daughter of first of all we start with her humble uh, brought up like she was born in a very humble family of a kennel keeper and she was married to a maharaja no the story is not from rags to riches she was never the never uh, someone who would just grab things to fill her own mouth she loved her country she was a rebel so the story is divided into three parts one she was a young girl then she became a queen and then she later became a rebel how she became a rebel and she became a pain in the neck of britishers it was because of her strong will now she was the daughter of a kennel keeper and she valiantly fought with the british she gave birth to dilip singh the last son or you can say the higher of ayer of punjab she fled with her son to kashmir and she stayed there because after the death of ranjit singh there was a lot of uh, conspiracies in the state to get the throne and most of his son most of his sons because uh, delhi uh, because uh, maharaja ranjit singh has uh, kharak singh as his higher they uh, they were in conflict with each other so she has to run away with her son to kashmir and she came back and it was all a surprise and incidentally that her son became the direct owner of the throne after that the britishers they uh, they declared a war on punjab and she had to run away leaving her 8 year old son and she went to nepal now what is such great thing or what is the big thing in that we are going to discuss that because at that time when she left the leap singh and ran away or you can say fled away i won't say ran away she the dilip singh was only 6 years old her only son so the story is of her vela how she became a rebel and she then reunited with her son after 14 years so why i would say that yes she was uh, she was somebody who who would be called as indomitable spirit first of all she was called as the messalina of the punjab why because the britishers try to dishonor her this is what happens to every indomitable spirit you are dishonored you are that there are rumors about you just so that you can pulled back to what you are doing so she was called messalina of punjab which is actually a name given to a notorious women who is involved in affairs with many men and they were afraid of her indomitable spirit second most important part because she was the master of her own decisions an indomitable spirit somebody who has complete com control over their lives are masters of their own decisions she married maharaja randeep singh at a very young age because she loved him and she took charge of the kingdom when uh, she fled to uh, nepal it was her decision to uh, she left her son because she know that she has to come back again and strike she she was the first woman in sick as sick woman who actually renounced her wheel in front of her court because she was a uh, charge of infidelity and because she was charge of infidelity she just removed her wheel to show her pock mark face to the court men that yes i was not well it was not that uh, i i was involved in infidelity then uh, the second most important part here is that she later found love again in lal singh and she was very clear about that so a person who is an indomitable spirit is someone who believes in is his or her own decision she actually she was a widow and she took care of the region and uh, she ruled for 3 years before she fled away to nepal leaving her son back the the most important part here is that she was very curious and intelligent unlike other queens of maharaja ranjit singh she was always interested in court she was always interested in what was going around in the world in the court what the britishers were doing so she as a woman was was always uh, known for that for her curiosity that's why she could rule she remember how maharaja ranjit singh carried that kohinoor and told her the story how he brought that kohinoor from the afghans 
now there are other women also in the story like uh, rani sada kaur and she helped maharaja ranjit singh to win the battle and to become the king of punjab she knew her identity she was a sikh who wherever we are born whichever religion we are born we should always respect that when her son was taken away from her and was sent to the uk dilip singh he actually took all the mannerism of britishers he was uh, he became a fickle minded boy who was always stuck between the loyalty to india or to be a britisher at that time she told her one thing that she reminded because she they stayed together for two years she went to the uk with her son and stayed there for two years after they reunited after 14 years she actually made it uh she made a fact that i would make my son realize that what her, his father was he was the lion of punjab and make him love his own country so she always believed in loving your own identity whichever religion you are born in same same statement i found in ain frank ain frank did not ever wanted to marry did not ever want to marry peter van's dance who was a jew because peter was ashamed of being a jew so if you are ashamed of being a hindu muslim or a sikh you have lost your identity you should always be proud of that that is an indomitable spirit she was a fearless and brave woman the way she fought with the britishers is very clear that yes how she was rooted how she faced them and how she stood in in front of the khalsa army she addressed the khalsa army she collected them and she said no but just because of the defaulters just because how people ditch you she lost the war and has to run away she was mara ranjit singh's favorite queen because of all these reasons uh, and of course after she reunited with her son she made sure that i will ask my son to ask for his rights from the britishers and not like dilip singh the black king to be one who is pickle who is who doesn't have his opinion of his own because uh, maharaja dilip singh stayed with the britishers for many years and he was completely turned now uh, she was a provider rather than being a mouth to feed she was very loyal to her country to her fellow men she was loyal and she was bounded to roots this is what made me really Uh, really uh, connect with this personality jindan kaur she had a never giving up attitude because she was the daughter of a kennel uh, keeper and she she had a very humble uh, uh, that is she was brought up in a very humble way but she had that never giving up attitude that she kept till she died because she told her son that i should be buried beside or i my ashes should be taken to my husband in lahore and i should be buried there with him with the lion of punjab and she her body was taken but after one year of struggle dilip singh had to actually struggle for one year asking britishers to take her body back to india and to bury her so she had that never giving attitude she was an amazing leader the way she led british the way she led her khalsa army against britishers she was an exceptional mother because of the way she was she had a strong bond with her son and she actually agreed to go to the uk for two years though she loved india so much she was a mother who cried her eyes out for 14 years she became half blind when she was separated from her son she made her son strong man because they stayed together for 8 years and her upbringing showed that she was an exceptional mother so if an indomitable spirit is with you that the spirit would be someone who is an exceptional mother of peers who would do anything for her children who would any do anything for her people who are an enemy because she was very loyal she she was very caring for her brother jawahar for her maid mangala there were so many good relationships that she developed with the people around her now uh, the book is a depiction of the cost being royal and life inside a palace which was nothing more than a mental battlefield for a woman of half uh, of her age because she got widowed when she was just 21 and it was by chance that she had no hopes that she will be a queen but that she became the queen of punjab and how she took the reign and how she 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 became though she lost all the wars but she never gave up and she continued doing it when she was in the uk never she never liked this fact that her son has given kohinoor to queen victoria and she always had this in her mind and her heart that one day my son will realize what is the meaning of being an indomitable spirit what is the meaning of never giving up attitude 
So uh, this is one of the characters that I have, and she could relate with today's women a lot. The other book that I was talking about was Untamed by Glenn Doyle, and in this particular book, Untamed, Glenn Doyle, she talks about a woman who got separated from her husband, got divorced, and she followed her heart. So, if you are somebody who knows what you want in life, because women are conditioned from a very beginning when they are quite young that you need to have, uh, you need to be, you need to follow. what uh, this the, the rules and laws of the society now here in this book this uh, woman after 20 years of her marriage she realized that she has her own dreams her husband cheated her with other women she tried to save her save her married life but later she got divorced and we all have different perspective first i was uh, i wanted to speak on that but later i thought that i would have a mixture of both the books because today's women are the women who talk about their own uh, rights and duties and they are already empowered just they need to be fearless there's a new need to be somebody who would come out make her own decisions we have to be someone who knows what is right for her whether you are a doctor or an engineer or a lawyer at your workplace at your home you should know where you stand so this is uh, from my side if you have any questions um, please you are welcome to ask so see this is the indomitable spirit and um, i've told you the story of bravery betrayal and hatred love separation and identity yeah, uh, uh, there is uh, something in the chat box yes Yeah, Kamal Ji, I have a question. Yeah, I'll stop. Yeah, I'll stop it. Yes, thank you, thank you very much, everyone. Yes, please. Yes, Kamal Ji, I have a question. Like you studied or so many indomitable, indomitable spirits. So I want to know what common traits that you found in all these ladies, all these spirits. Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a very good question in a way because there is this this the one thing that is common is I really think never giving up attitude. as i compare this indomitable spirits with uh, eagle they are eagles they know what they want in their life and they never give up they just follow their dreams they know what to do and many times following their dreams in a way that they know that they have a family around them they have their their brothers they have their father they have their the sons who need to be taken care of and they take everything together in a way, in a very balanced way so i believe that most of them are very balanced if you talk about kiran bedi she has two daughters wonderfully brought up and uh, they are wonderful mothers and they have achieved a lot because they know how to have a balanced life and never giving up attitude yeah right konji so i also believe that behind i every an indomitable spirit there is another indomitable spirit that are born and brought up and means cultured their Uh, attitude in that way, such as their attitude in that way, so that they become and reach to the next level of their intermediate spirit. So yes. that's and good. Definitely, there were so many men beside her who were supporting her. Uh, in, in the, that is her husband. She always talked about uh, in the story in the book, the last queen. She talked about her husband that how Maharaja Ranjit Singh knew that she is intelligent and he let her he let her grow. so that is also one of the most important uh, factors that i have seen men in the society when they support women they definitely grow thank you great so i just want to uh, check with other people if anyone have, have any other question yeah i have, I have. so uh, kamal ji i want to ask that what is one message you want from this book or this presentation to a uh, young younger uh, females who out there who know uh, their rights these days who who are really uh, working on 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 the on the new modern ways what one message you from this book or this presentation you want to give from the story of rani jinda so uh, rani jinda as i to as i was talking about is an epitome of strength and strong will power it's that i i would always say that listen to your heart and at the same time understand your responsibilities see it's being a woman is not only about just doing what you wish to yes it is 
something that we need to have a kind of a balance in a way that if you are a doctor or a lawyer set an example for the up the for the coming generations so that they can follow you so that they know that yes women of that time was like that so i believe that paramjot we should set we always should need to set an example for the other generation as women so we need to find our ways but at the same time need to know that we are the ones who give birth to future generations and of course we need to inculcate values in them these values are really important that most of us have forgotten yeah yes of course uh, many women do that but our our new generation should know this that values have to be inculcated uh, as i gave you the as i gave the example of um, peter van dance who was a jew and was ashamed uh, at that time in frank in diary of a young girl said i will never marry this man because he is a, a weak character he said i am ashamed of being a jew when uh, jews were killed they were killed in, a, in big numbers so i would say all, always be proud of yourself and set example for the coming Thank you. Thank you so much, Kamaljit, for this amazing uh, session. I really loved it, and uh, one thing I was I uh, really agree with you that yes, never give up attitude. Make these ladies indomitable state. And apart from that, uh, one thing I found that whenever any challenges come in their uh, life or anyone's life, uh, when they when she or he has, he has a uh, means uh, not giving attitude, not give up attitude, then they become more stronger. so there is a one example that gave me a goose bump when i uh, read that story that is about the arunima sinha so uh, so you can uh, go ahead and uh, know more about her so um, thank you thank you so much for this amazing session so now guys uh, now everyone we are ready with the audience participation session so i need a volunteer i need the volunteer who would like to participate in this session mm -hmm. so you already know about the theme what we are going to discuss on which which type of uh, thoughts or ideas i am going to ask from you so may now first volunteer i am i am seeing here abu is here who is going to become first volunteer so abu i have a amazing uh, can you see my screen yes sir yes abu abu so uh, for you question is what do you understand by indomitable spirit by looking at this picture can you see this picture abu yes yes i can okay. uh, absolutely uh, you know now this is something which is very important that uh, yeah uh, or something which is very important and i borrow a leaf from kavalji's work wherein she mentioned that your background doesn't make any difference you know uh, from where you come doesn't make a difference from where you have to go that's the most important thing most of the time we get overwhelmed by our background and if you are getting overwhelmed you know this can never be such a great view this is the epitome of the platform you can also read haritosh's book from the guy from jonpur now he is in london uh, very close to london so that's how it is people let's you know it's very important and there are two important things again coming back to what kamal ji has mentioned apart from uh, you know your background should not make a difference and to take pride in whoever you are and whatever you come from when i take pride again it is extremely important that your pride should not at any point in time be a disrespect to anyone the moment your pride becomes an ego then because i'm sure everybody agrees that no matter whichever king queen or uh, empire or leader you are the moment you become egoistic the fall is very near so it's very important and we need to strike a balance to take up pride but not to become egoistic to learn from our background and to move forward and we can only do amazing when we look ahead we also need to understand again another book which is one of my favorite is mindset by carol dweck then how we have all been conditioned with fixed mindset for instance like right now our country india if you look at it we are not doing great and most of us would feel that we will not do great but i strongly believe that we were born to be great again i'm not trying to be egoistic at this point in time we don't want your support it's time to you know get back on track and to prove to the world what we can do you know the battle has not been lost and as kavaljit has mentioned that we have fought we are in the process of fighting the most important thing which is which has been the war against covid 
So that is one of the things in a nutshell, let's look at our past and ensure that we look at the future. Let not your background uh, become a weakness for you and take pride in whoever you are. Back to you, Amit. Thank you so much, Abu. So now I can see another indomitable spirit, Gita Ma'am. So Gita Ma'am, here you go. What additional power a bad woman needs to have? What additional power a bad woman needs to have? Thank you so much, Amit, for that amazing topic. Yeah, bad woman, she has the power to fly and she has the power to roam around anywhere in the world. She has the power to protect the little children. But besides this supernatural power, it's not necessary that everybody will become a bad woman. Being whatever we are, we can still have that power. We can still be a great help to the society if we are willing to do that. If we just have that indomitable spirit in us, if we just, just by having the, we, don't, we shouldn't be praying for the supernatural power. We have that within us. The only thing is just like what Abu said just now, believe in yourself. If you keep telling yourself, I cannot do, I will not be able to do, never, you'll never succeed in your life. Think first, make yourself believe. Only then you can understand what the others look feel about you. If you don't have confidence in yourself, whatever the world will say, you'll never be successful. So if you really want to do something for the society, if you really want to do something for the world, you have to have faith in yourself. And women can do anything because they are much more stronger. Physically, they may be weaker than their co-partners, but so far as mental uh, strength is concerned, women are far ahead. I've seen a number of women who are far ahead than men in this matter. So if you are strong in your mind, if you believe in yourself, you can do wonders. You can reach the zenith. You can reach the pinnacle. You can do whatever you want in this world. Thank you. Back to you, Amit. Thank you, Gita Ma'am. Gita Ma'am said to be really right that yes, you have already all that power. So you don't need not to go out and search this power. These search this power inside you. So thank you, Gita Ma'am. So now I can see Sudhir. Yes. What additional power a superwoman needs to have? Amit, uh, can yes. you see? Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Can you see it now? What additional power a superwoman needs to have? Oh, thank you very much for the topic. Uh, uh, the word says it's, it's uh, the entire term is completed. Uh, your voice is not much audible, Sudeep. Can you be a little louder? Yeah, am I audible now? Uh, still not much. Am I audible now? Yes, no, it's better. Okay, so uh, as the word suggests, superwoman. It is all, I mean, all the attributes of becoming a superwoman is present in, in that woman. Woman, we always look for the betterment of the society. Woman is something like that, without which the, the, center, the society is not been completed. Woman always encourages for the betterment of the society. Woman always have the power of love, which is being shared unconditional whether in the form of a sister of a wife of a daughter or a teacher so this unique quality which differentiates other human being from being a woman is the quality of love and equality which a woman sees second thing which i feel is that um, uh, the, the, the power of determination if a woman determines that she has to obtain a particular object and has to attain a particular goal, no one can stop it. Last but not the least, if we look to the current scenario, all the corporate leaders today, whether it be your MNCs, the startups, global leaders, the CEOs are being replaced, the traditional men are being replaced by the women of today's era, whether it could be emotional intelligence, whether it could be uh, any sort of path-breaking innovation, women are leading the corporate world the, the way the, they were leading the society. So, last but not the least, I would like to uh, end up the final submission is that 
the future is in a safe hand because it is it will be leading by the women thank you thank you sudeep so now uh, master sonika yeah i'll try <laughs> can like what do you understand by indomitable spirit by looking at this picture can you see picture yeah what do you understand by indomitable spirit okay i can see the picture great okay so uh, after seeing this picture what i can think about is survival that you uh, that whatever you are yes you are strong and you are smart but when the situation gets uh, difficult and you need to protect yourself then you have to uh, do something uh, which is beyond imagination and you have to go out of your uh, regular thinking and you need to do something uh, through which you can survive in that ocean <laughs> ocean of problems so here i can see the fish <laughs> uh, taking that uh, whale fish so that people who are going to attack can uh, you know she can save herself from the attacker <laughs> uh, okay this is what i can say thank you sunita thank you so now i can see uh, our new enthusiastic toastmaster toastmaster gyan so toastmaster gyan can you see uh, what do you understand by indomitable spirit sania meja and is han malik uh am i audible and visible yes yes so uh, i think uh, from every im uh, immortal spirit we understand that uh, we need to have that uh, spirit as uh, mr karmanjit kaur said uh, just as an eagle to fight back uh, no matter whatever happens and obviously sanya amirza is one of the best uh, athlete we have for india and we um uh, we had uh, and she has uh, won obviously so many awards for india so what we learn from her and what everyone can learn from her is to never give up no matter what uh, ever happens i think she has she had a lot of setbacks in her life but still uh, she was great in whatever she did and uh, that's what we learn from her and uh, every uh, in multiple spirit uh we have in uh, india and in the world and uh, she is also an example for every woman that uh, it doesn't matter uh, gender doesn't matter and everyone can do anything and in 21st century it doesn't matter that uh, you are in women so you can obviously be equal to men and we can see today that women are equal to men in every industry in whatever uh, we talk about you talk about the entrepreneurship you talk about the ceos you talk about any interested women are ahead also ahead of men so this is what we learn from sanya mel thank you thank you gyan so i can see post master anusha anusha ma'am could you please switch on your camera my thing will go off my video will go off then okay so here can you see what do you understand by indomitable spirit mary com i couldn't have got a more inspiring model than mary com and that immediately brings to mind the movie the famous movie which has been made on her which really brought her to life and brought her close to us as one of the most famous sports personalities in india she has shown what one can do if one has a will she came out uh, from childbirth from very tough circumstances and came forth and fought her way through back to fitness back to ability back to agility and with all that she proved that there's nothing which can hold a person back if he or she decides to go forth and do what they want to do uh sports has always uh, i've watched sports people my brother being a very uh, avid sports person uh, me being a sports person when i was a kid more that when you are in the sports arena then you have an ability to really learn the fundamentals of life just by playing the sport 
So the indomitable spirit which comes out through sport is your ability to hang on, your ability to fight in the face of uh, opposition, and the ability to decide that there is always somebody who can be better than you, but that should never deter you from doing what you want to do best and from working hard at what you want to do. So Mary Com uh, remains one of our very uh, in, enlightening models who's going to be running in the Tokyo Olympics with our torch as one of the fourth, uh, as one of the holders of the spirit of India. And I hope all goes well with her. Bon chance to her, as they say, good luck to her. And thank you, back to you. Thank you, Nusha ma'am. So now last but not least, Uma Agarwal. So, what do you understand by indomitable spirit, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern? Uma Agarwal? Okay, no worry. Uh, it's okay, Amit. You can uh, ask to launch the poll because it's 8.50. Okay. Okay, so Krishna Shrithika, could you please launch the poll? And now I also want to welcome Krishna Shrithika. So please vote first. Yes, Chitika. Okay, thank you, Chitika. So, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. So, now I would like to call Toshmaster Gyan, who is to who is going to check your attentive and uh, listening skill, whether you are actively here and listening everything. So, I would like to hand over the stage to Toshmaster Gyan. Over to you, Toshmaster Gyan. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster. A very good evening to everyone. This is Toastmaster Gyan, timer and listener for the day. This is my pleasure to serve as timer and listener for the first time. And this is my first meeting in Leaders uh, Book Club. So I need a volunteer for the first question. Okay, Abu. So what is the thing we'll, uh, what is the most important thing we learn from, uh, uh, as said by Toastmaster Harish Tosh, according to his incident from his friend's story of uh, his friend from Jaunpur? What is the most important thing we need to remember in life? Not to mention your, ad as your address as Ghaziabad. Oh, I'm just kidding. Not to forget your rules. Yes. So, uh, any other volunteer? Or you can first ask the questions and people may volunteer. <laughs> okay. Which bird des did Ms. Kavaljit Kaur mention as indomitable spirit and why? Yes, Toastmaster Amit. Yeah, she mentioned uh, about eagle and she compared the eagle with the woman with the, because eagle has the same attitude of uh, seeing the big and uh, loving the cloud sky. Yes, correct. Great. So the next question is the name of son of Rani Jinda and, and what was he called by the Britishers? Yes, Toastmaster Abu. Maharaja Dilip. Dilip Singh. Yes, and what was he called by the Britishers? It was it, it ended with something like Prince. I'm not sure. But I have I heard her using the word pickle-minded prince. I'm not sure if that was the thing. Oh, it is the black prince. The black prince. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much, everyone. That's all from my side. And I would like to hand over the stage to our vice captain, Toastmaster Ritika. Thank you, Jan. Uh, so first, I would like to introduce our next 
keynote speaker that is Jatin. So Jatin Agarwal, our next keynote speaker, is a graduate from Christ University. He is a co-founder and managing partner at MoneyCraft CB Register Investment Advisor. He's also a content creator and spreads financial education through his YouTube channel, The Bull of the Last Tree. In the coming session, he's going to share his insights on how to become a millionaire. So do join us for the next keynote speak, the speech, and I'm sure you get a wonderful insight on how to become a millionaire. So I think we are done with everything. Anything else left? Professor Sonika. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, now we can, yeah, we can thank now all the role players and uh, then we can click the pictures. So first I, I would request everyone, speech. Waiting I would request everyone speech. to please switch on the cameras. I can see a lot of cameras are switched off. So to thank for, first I would like to thank the anchor of the meeting, that is to, uh, Amit. And uh, he's always wonderful and he is always there whenever needed. Then I would like to thank our timer and listener of the day, that is Gyan. He's a new in South Delhi Toastmasters, but he, uh, he did not seem like he's a new to this role. Then I would thank the uh, book reviewer, uh, Haritosh, and he rightly said that the roots should be strong. Uh, if the roots are strong, uh, the, however the tall tree is but if the roots are strong it will not fall the roots are weak the tall tree will also fall then obviously I would like to thank our keynote speaker uh, what to say about her the, the way she spoke like a lioness the voice strong voice she had like a warrior was wonderful and uh, she uh, the way she shared uh, so many stories of women warriors uh, the Keynote may have end, but the stories of women warrior will never end. So stories are endless. And the, uh, the point she took out from those stories was really wonderful. So that's all for today's session. I would like everyone to please switch on the cameras so we can take a selfie. And uh, I would request Kavaji to give a pose for the day. And also, I forgot that uh, to announce the poll uh, results for the audience participation, the winner is uh, none other than Abu Shada. So, congratulations, Abu. And let's click a selfie. Kawaji, can we have a post, please? Yeah, definitely. We can Today, we can have like this and we can salute. <laughs> The women warriors. <laughs> okay, so I cannot see everybody on the camera. Minakshi. Yeah, just please turn on your cameras. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you for joining to this session.